So I wanted to, I think during the break, we we're just speaking about this idea that professionals can go after each other. And, you know, Rufai made a couple of points, which unfortunately has gone with the break. But I tell you what, one of the reasons artists are the biggest artists, artists, you know, musicians are the biggest entertainers in the world is because not Nigerian artists, <laughs> the Western artists. Nigerian artists also do. It's competition. It's healthy people, competition. People go after each other because ultimately that's what drives the numbers. Yeah, yeah that's right. And that's why I love if rap. If, 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 if a professional does a job that is subpar or does a weak ass job, believe me, it is no respect from me to not tell the professional that he's doing a weak ass job. Mm-hmm. Can I quickly slot in? What I am doing is I'm giving him, I'm giving him an easy pass and lowering the standard. Yeah, go if, you're, if, you're, if you're a fan of battle rap, I, I always talk about King Lose. Yeah. So the video of King Lose is a battle rap. So let's say this is King Los. This is the other guy that is battling. And King Los was rapping. And he said, there's nothing about this guy that is this genius. I don't know if you get it. There's nothing about this guy mm. that is this genius. So even though you guys might think, even though the audience might think this guy is so good, eh? but to me, he doesn't even exist. Mm. You see, that's why battle rap is like, I will come after, see, I will come after you. And then the way he ended it was like, this guy, everything about him is like a hologram and I'm going to walk through it. Yeah. So you see, I will come after you. That's yeah. what battle rap is about. We, we, we cannot, that's the we, competition. We, we, we cannot constantly, we cannot, and, the, and the other guy knows it is healthy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's he he knows that's the game. And which is why I, I, I always tell people. So Messi you knows know. that what Ronaldo is in is healthy. Like, no. Is that you, what you're saying? You, you, you missed the... Do you, but you, miss do, you, the, do, you, do, you, do you actually realize that, you know, even though both of them will not, may not admit it, do you know that the reason these two players have kept this incredible standard so The rivalry so has yes. made them so bigger. Long. Yes. The rivalry has made it's them bigger. The rivalry. That, yeah. that thing in, at the back of his mind. I was Maybe watching... I was watching. Said, Olapu yeah, made, made a point earlier. Messi has won six Ballon d'Ors. Ma- Ronaldo has won five. Seven. Uh, now, seven, 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 five, be, yeah. be, be, before the other night, Olakun said, "What stopped Ronald Messi from being magnanimous enough to say, you know, I've got this a lot? You think he doesn't have Ronaldo at the back of his mind? Ah, you honestly you think, think he doesn't? No, have no, Ronaldo? He, I think he'll tell you that he doesn't. He, he's going to be recorded think, that Messi has seven. You but can he not be magnanimous was, enough to say? Messi is the guy. I, I Messi is the guy that went and told Pep Guardiola. I've been busting your head on this. Let me bust you." My friend, oh, she my friends, my friends. Okay. I, I was watching one video. I think after the game, one journalist was asking Messi, "Do you know you've broken one particular record?" He was saying it in Spanish. And Messi was like, he "Doesn't even know." He doesn't know. Was the, yeah, ca- no, no, no. Go, was the camera, camera on or not? <laughs> Messi didn't even. Was, was the, the camera, camera on, on or not? The camera was on. Your bloody right, gun, right, boy. Right. Are you on this show? I, I, I'm, I'm, see, Messi was I'm like, okay. "Give me this lamp." Be like, "Be like, we go review. We go review your contract." See, no, no, we see. <laughs> the master of no, the wait. Two, you really think that he doesn't the know. masters of the media. <laughs> what are you talking about? Pep Guardiola, Jose Mourinho. You right? get masters of the media, bro. Jose Mourinho, Jose, you've uh, you are the only manager that has managed to <laughs> keep uh, fifteen clean sheets in the Premier League season, and um, you know what you've done with Tottenham. My Mourinho goes, I didn't know that. Hey, you get, I boss your head. Hold yeah. on, hold on, but. Suddenly, but no, hold next, on. next 15 no. games. Hold on. <laughs> but but they tell you this is a guy that pays attention to detail. Yes. Right one. Two. His 1,000 game. He tells you after the, after the, the game, after the game he said, I lied to the players. That it doesn't mean that anything, doesn't mean anything to, me. to me. But, I, but right? I, I lied. But I lied. You really think that these people don't know what they're Number doing? Number three. This is the same guy that came to a press conference with a prepared paper of the names of the young players that he has given opportunities to. So you actually believe you actually be- yeah, that these guys don't know. I think you have been hoodwinked. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I think no, so. No, no, I no, agree. No, no. Look, look, the best Are you players, the best players know. If you know, know what's if, going if, on, if, if, if you Guess what? Guess what? Do you know how much this, the guys who work as agents, you know, for these big players, big coaches, you think their job is just to find jobs mm. for them? You, you think it's just to find clubs? You think it's just to find jobs? 
those guys have statisticians. They that have full time or full. Yeah. That was what Imam was saying. Now yeah. they sit down. They have dossiers. They compile things on you. They make sure that you are aware of these things. Even when they, they go to clubs. Down Even when they go to clubs. So that you know that's they... what they take to clubs. Are you kidding? That, see this guy starts. See the manager that you have. You need this guy. Yeah, that's how they find so new clubs don't, for don't their for, players. Don't for a no, second. No, 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 don't for a second think that you know players go in front of the media and they are. I yeah, think I, but what, what, I think what, I what, need to give you another example. What, 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 what I'm saying, I think what I need to give you another example. Messi, Messi, you sure that he play Messi ball. looks like someone who doesn't care. Person who don't play I, ball. I, I think something. I need to give you another Messi, example. Don't play ball. Look at Messi. Like, but when are they play? When are they play ball? Ask him. Ask him for you lads. Ask this guy for you lads. You be you be sponsored. You don't play ball. Don't vex. You don't be sponsored. Don't vex. You, you play see, ball, you play ball for the department. I play ball. No, I told you my maid. My maid had there. You don't go, no go, 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 play ball. You be sports tech that you're you collect me that before. There's something, called, there's something called cultivation theory. And you should check it out. You know, it's when someone is notes? constantly, constantly, they're, they're preparing you to accept a principle. Mm. I'm not sure if I'm explaining it the right way, but that's, that's what cultivation theory is. Mm-hmm. You get, they sell you something constantly when it's time. You they're accept ready, it they're, they're ready to by default. You. You get, by, by, by default. So let's not, let's not do this thing that get, players don't know that. The, ex- the example I was going to give you was, you see, and this, this is all clear. Some of my friends who watch now, they can, they, they go confirm. When we they play ball, my younger brother, my childhood friend, once we get onto the pitch, mama, if I, see, if we are on different team, I don't know your papa. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see as well. No, but I'm telling you. No, 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 I'm telling you. No, 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 it's not even that. It's not even that. What it is, is, what it is, is, what, it's not like they were paying us, mm. but at the Passion. time, it was like we were trying to achieve something good. Oh my God. And I'm not doing you any good if, I'm being soft on you because you are my friend or you because you are my brother. Mm. I'm not and they were good. not being soft on me too. My friend go kick me. See, that is what it is. It's, it's, it's what it but is. But once so, we leave the pitch, yeah. bro, are you wounded? You all right? But we like, go massage our leg for ourselves. Get. Of course, I'm not going to try and injure my brother. Too much. Del- 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 but if I think it's a 50-50 to go in, I'm going I in have hard. To go, I have to go in hard. You understand? But speaking on this point, which is, goes back to the next thing I wanted to say, um, and I put this on the script, I shared to everybody. One of the things I feel like we need to speak about is professionals making the right or wrong comments. Now, right or wrong depends on your paradigm. Mm. So a couple of weeks ago, there's a guy at OJB Sports did, a, did an interview <laughs> with Jurgen Klopp, right? <laughs> did an interview with Jurgen Klopp. And so this, this, is actually, this is actually for good. I see everybody laughing. But this, so this, far this, guy. This, this is actually good, right? Now, yeah. OJB goes to interviews you have, oh, to give him credit for, you have to give him credit for his enthusiasm and efforts to the things he does. You know, he's, he's, he's a black man in the white man's world, you know, trying to ask questions, trying to be yeah. heard and all yeah. that stuff. You have, you have to give him... You have, you, have to, you have to be able to step back from the noise and say, you know, this is a guy who's pushing the frontiers, mm-hmm. right? For right or for wrong, whatever he's doing. Over time, I've watched his interviews and I find him a bit too... I find him a bit too mechanical, right? I find that he's so looking. I, I find that he's looking for looking for a headline, right? Mm-hmm. Which is not the best way to do it. Some of the best things we do on this on this show, we're not looking for you it. Don't, you, don't right? even you don't even know. You don't, you don't even know what it is. The yeah. producer looks at it back and says, "This is great content. Let's yeah, throw it out." Right? Yeah, yeah. Shouts to Wally. So, but when this one time happened, and I'm speaking about this because of why professionals should not address each other. This one time with your own club, right? Was the one time I think that he actually had a point in what he was saying. Yeah, I think so right? too. So I've seen so many, so many counter opinions. You know, so many counter opinions. Oh, you know, that was joking. OJB, OJB was being too aggressive. Oh, you know, and I find that this happens because Klopp has over time put out this Very fantastic, su- superb guy. You know, <laughs> he's a joker. He's a nice yeah, guy. That joker always one, yeah. talking and yeah. all that stuff. And whilst OJB, my opinion, I don't know if you saw it. Yes, whilst, I saw it. Whilst OJB must I have been, on, yeah. on, on whilst OJB must have been, I disagree. A bit, a bit too <laughs> aggressive, maybe, maybe. I don't and think, in, I, in, I, in I, the I, end, I, I don't think aggressive was the no. word. I think emotions was, was, may, was may, the word. Maybe a bit too emotional. Yeah. And and that's fine. You know, we're different from each other. You know, yeah. probably we do it differently and whatnot. But maybe it was a bit too emotional. But let's not forget the the, the basics of what he was saying. Yeah. So your club goes to an interview and says. 
with the AFCON. There's a little tournament in Africa yeah. in passing. I spoke to Rafael about it. I said, look, you know, what's going on here? How do we analyze this thing? Mm. You know, what's your, what's your take? How do, we, how do we look at this thing? I said, look, made one very salient point. And he's here. So said, with Jürgen Klopp said the same thing about the Euros. Whatever in passing. Even, even the Bible says that out, of, out of the abundance of the yeah, hearts, the mouth speaks. The mouth, mouth speaks. The mouth speaks. Oh you know, my God. My my God. Hey, hey, you know if you just, you know if you just come out. No, no, no. You know if you just come out. Before I let you go in it. You know. If you just come out, talk The The underlying counter argument to OJB is that um, you can't explain sarcasm. And mm. I agree. Yeah. You know, when someone makes a sarcastic comment, when you explain it, it, de- it, it sounds de- silly. It, no, it, yeah, it destroys the sarcasm, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Well, that's why so my, my very good friend, B- 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 Biola Kazim, says, Banter will not be explained. Mm. Yeah, you can't explain. I will not I will explain. explain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. See, that last line, <laughs> I always gets me. Oh, I say I would explain. The moment I explain it, you get. You get. You get. So my point is, my point is, my point is, when I saw the story on, 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 on Sky, um, I commented, I uh, luckily saw it, he, he disagreed. My point was, He's I thought the guy was anyways. a bit emotional, but he was well within his rights to do that. Why I thought he was well within his rights to, to say what he said was, it just borderline uh, uh, condescending. Condescending in the sense that you won't say this about the Copa America, you won't say this about the Euros. No, never. Why I also understood from Jurgen Klopp's point of view was, I thought it was sarcastic. And, you know, we've sat here, I'm sure all of us on this table, we've used the word, you know, small matter to, to qualify a game like a Man United Man City, which we know it's not small by any stretch, you know. So we've used that. I, th- I think Jurgen Klopp is way too smart to be condescending when he has players like Salah mm-hmm. and, and Mane and Naby Keita, players who he wants to be on their good Top side. African players. Yeah. You know, he no, wants to I, be... On- I, I, I don't think... I don't, you see, that's why I disagree. No, that's no, what, hold on, hold, hold on. So, I don't think Jurgen Klopp intentionally meant to belittle the tournament. No, I don't think he intentionally meant to belittle the tournament. Mm. I think that one way or another... Something like he said, out of the abundance of mm, that, mm. some there are things from that sarcasm, would, there are things that will jump mind. out from sarcasm. I yeah. tell you, you, you get there are things that will jump yeah. out, and, and, and for me, it's like it's like when people say uh, your club was being sarcastic. He was. I like to hear the last two lines mm. before he made the little tournament statement. Mm. Do you get? I like to hear the last two lines because if someone is being sarcastic in the context of the conversation, you tend to want to be able to understand that you know he's just joking mm. or he's just being sarcastic. Mm. Do you get? So and that's why with the OJB guy, if there's anything that you can be emotional about, if there's anything that you, you can be emotional about, is if you feel like somebody is being discriminated towards you. Mm. Do you understand? So, yeah. and he you, made his, I mean, you don't want to make this a, a, a it's not it's not a racism thing. Because I don't no, think it's not. 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 I, I think this guy will have a drink with at the bar. You understand? I will, I'll feel comfortable that he's not trying to. You know, he doesn't judge me on the color of my skin, right? Mm. What it what it is is disrespect. Subtly doesn't re, not, not realizing that he's fallen into conditioning. Hmm. Society, you know, it's a small, yeah, so, no, yeah, yeah. it's a small, it's a small, small society. Any, any of you followed the stuff that has been happening in UK where, with ICC, uh, the cricket, you know, there's a guy I seen, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten his name. Um, go ahead, go ahead, I, go ahead. I'm trying try not to mix up his name, but there was a story about, you know, as really blighted cricket in England. You know, where a, a former cricketer came out and said that throughout his time playing for, I think, the England County Club, the cricket club, that racism was almost like an anthem, mm. like an anthem. And it was so normal that, you know, it big England cricketers, they were abusing him racially, and it was so normal. It was so normal. I mean, people are resigning, heads are rolling, people are getting fired. Cricket in English football is in in England is absolutely in tatters because yeah. of of the the revelation this guy brought in a, a, few, a, few, a few weeks ago. Now, it's something that has become like a lifestyle, you know. 
that when people are being condescending, people are belittling without naturally or necessarily knowing that that's what they that's are what doing. Which is the point. Which is the point. Which is the point. So, so, mm. so mm. Jürgen mm. might not... Might not know what... It's might not... Power might, not you know, might, might not... As Jürgen intend to, to be to condescending... Just, just like Bonucci yeah. did. Bonu, you remember that Bonucci incident with, with um, King? That was criticism. Yeah, that was, he, he, didn't, he didn't mean to, to do it, but it came out. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. But, but I was, you know, that's what I was support. I was if, saying if, that he was saying that he should not celebrate in front of the fans. And that was why the fans were chanting a, a, yeah, a, a, a monkey yeah, chant yeah, on him yeah. and all. That, that's almost like with the with the you know with the um, LGBT group, mm. right? See, it's right majority of us. <laughs> I was watching a show. <laughs> And Bella's mother was about to go on a an African music round. Whiskey, say, ah, what? It? Wait, what? It's the same thing as you now. <laughs> but don't worry, I have it on. You know, you know, it's it's almost like a lot of us gr- growing up, right? It, it's not what we you know used to. So it's almost like now that you're an adult, hmm. in a way, sometimes it feels strange, right? Very strange. Yeah, but now you are you are, you know better. Now you are learning. You get. So now you understand that, look, this is what it is. But you see, once in a while, especially in closed quarters, once in a while, there are things that will jump out of you. Thank you. Do you understand? And those things, it can happen even when you're in public. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they jump out of you. So you don't mean you. It's not like you. you it, now you understand. You're not trying to be yeah. discriminatory. Yes. Yes. You're not trying to be insulting. Yeah, but this is your part. Yes, so, so, so for me, yes, for me, don't talk for me, don't talk for me, uh, a, friend, a friend of mine also. Uh, don't talk on. I bought me on Twitter. Said something. Said, look, um, you know, if you if you make if you make condescending comments about a tournament that people try to belittle normally, clarifications mm. will be sought. Mm. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm, understand? Mm-hmm. Because, we, because yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's we, we yeah. need to yeah. you know we, we need time. to have a conversation exactly mm, because right. over, over time the energy we've been getting from. The other people, you know, you get, from Europe, the world, yeah. Yeah. is condescending. It's, con- it's condescending. So, 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 so very, very. Ogawa, mm. what are you saying? Ogawa? What are you saying? Because <laughs> we, don't to, we don't want people to, we don't want people to cure, wow. be cure behind you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Can you guys remember the video on Twitter that was going on about Nigeria? Mm. Ah, can't remember her name. It was going on about you know nobody really wants anything uh, with yeah, you guys. I, saw it. I, saw, really, I, saw I don't know tweet. if you guys can remember. I saw that tweet. I saw the that conversation. The, Nigerians change down for the You get the conversation was look, we know. Say our country, no, they were supposed to. I can't even remember yeah. my response to her. The girl was you Nigeria. Get, I was like, look, we <laughs> don't need team. you yes. to come with your privileges. Yes. To come and tell us about that this is what we should be. Mm. Yeah. You don't know what the reality of being mm. a guy, you know, or being a person, yeah. you know, mm. born and bred. Do you understand? So that's where it is. Yep. So yep. we're going to ask you, like, so, look, what are you saying? What are you saying? Let's yeah. clarify. So, in, in, in that regard, right? Yeah. Yeah. In that regard, I feel like. This is why we took maybe two weeks or three weeks to speak about this thing. Yeah. You know, we're not going to jump into any conversation without, you know, thinking about it thoroughly. You know, and respect to the guys for always having a, having a bit of a sit back. In, but, in conclusion, yeah. sorry. In conclusion, what I think the guy did that I really like was throw up consciousness. Yes. Fantastic. Loved yeah. it. Yes. You know, yes. What he did was... That's why we all need to be behind him. There will be scrutiny. So that when next someone wants to... Use a, a Watch yourself loosely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You will be thinking about the fact that there's somebody who's going to ask you questions. It's, it's similar I to loved it. It's similar to what um, Stephen A, mm. who is one of the mentors I have, mm. Stephen A. Smith, one of the biggest reporters on, or, uh, you know, host on on ESPN. You know, has a show First Take. Shout to Stephen A. But was you know I think pre pre Olympics yeah. was uh, doing a game commentary and dropped the ball you know, basically. Easily forgot he was on air and said, you know, who how can a player named was it Prosper or something like that? Mm, yeah. Or some some Nigerian name, you know, be taking the US team to, to the cleaners. And he said in a condescending way. He didn't realize it. But we called him to caution and said, Oh, okay, come hold, on. hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Don't don't do you, 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 you can you cannot in your position do that and think that it will let it's you slide. Yeah. So, which did goes you, back did to... Did you see that tweet of that new um, Twitter CEO like 11 years ago when that guy said that... Oh, the new CEO yeah, now, Parag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they went back, far back as 11 years. Wow, crazy. He said that 
the guy the guy said that if if you cannot differentiate between you know extremists and muslims like then why then do you try to differentiate between the whites and the racist like the guy was just trying to say that in every white disrespect no no disrespect to every white but he's saying that in every being a white there's I'm not there's always a, being a yeah, 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 yeah yeah you lost yeah, me yeah, but yeah. i mean no no i, I get yeah. what you're saying i, I, get, I get what you're saying but i think i think i think i think you lost me a little always a pleasure to have you on the hindsight podcast subscribe like comments we just like to have you, your thoughts shared on the hindsight podcast it's great fun for us recording this one and we also love to hear from you as well thank you so much for your support thank you for your messages your comments see you again in the next episode